talks between Sudan's main civilian bloc and the military have been ongoing for weeks, in the latest bid to break the deadlock following the 2021 military coup. The United Nations back the political process. Its human rights commissioner concluded his first official visit to Sudan Wednesday, urging the factions to reach a deal. Any transition is delicate, and in Sudan, we are at a particularly delicate stage of this transition. So I really call on all sides who are involved in the political process to go the extra mile to work towards prompt <coughs> restoration of civilian rule in the country, to bring an end to the uncertainty that is left, that has left much of the population in peril. Volker Turk arrived in Sudan Sunday and held talks with senior officials, including coup leader General al -Bulhan. During the press conference, Turk reaffirmed the right to peaceful assembly. I call on the relevant authorities clearly to instruct the security forces to respond to the demonstrations in line with human rights law and standards. People have the right to peaceful assembly and the state has an obligation to ensure that this right can be exercised without fear of being shot at. The crackdown on anti-coup protesters has killed an estimated 119 people.